It's Easter Sunday, and tonight the menu has the Leafs and Flames on tap at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. Hello and welcome to Game Day brought to you by your Alberta Ram dealers. Hope everyone has the chance to spend some time with family on this Easter Sunday and maybe cap it all off with the little Flames and Maple Leafs tonight on television here from the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. It's been a very closely contested season series between these two teams so far this evening. Tonight is number seven in terms of matchups between these two teams and the Leafs do hold a narrow advantage but so far of the six games four of them have been decided by a single goal. The other ones uh, shut out victories, 2-0 and 3-0, but expect another close one here this evening for the Calgary Flames coming off that 3-2 loss at the hands of the Edmonton Oilers. And we talk about the way teams are playing right now throughout this entire North Division. Expect tightly checking. That's kind of the way it's gone. And it may be a playoff mentality as well as the Calgary Flames look to get things headed in a positive direction, keep their playoff hopes alive, and it starts here tonight against the Leafs. You know, playing in Toronto, they're special for a lot of our guys. And I uh, thought at home, uh, those first two games after their break, we played solid. We um, just didn't get the results. Um, in Toronto, uh, our goaltending has been really solid. Um, we've, like I said, I think a lot of guys really enjoy playing in Toronto, home, playing at home, and, uh, even though there's no fans. And uh, um, yeah, we've been playing some tight hockey against them. It's been, been some tight games. Um, last last game, we just didn't score enough. But um, you know, they've uh, raised their game this year. They play. Uh, much tighter game and more of a team game and um, got to give them some credit they've grown over there so uh, it's going to be a good challenge for us these next two games. Time now for who to watch and for the visitors Austin Matthews who had his three game goal scoring streak snapped on Friday night in Winnipeg but he continues to lead the league in that category 24 on the year and uh, he also has five points in six games of this head-to-head -head series so far. For the Calgary Flames, Matthew Kachuk scored his 10th goal of the year on Friday night in Edmonton. He's scored 10 goals or more in every season he's played in the National Hockey League. He, too, has five points so far in this season series against Toronto. As far as the lineup is concerned for the Calgary Flames this evening, Michael Backlund, of course, missed Friday's game in Edmonton. He was listed as day-to-day -day, but skated with the team this morning at an optional morning skate. He's been cleared. He's good to go. Told us he's feeling better. He's uh, drawing back into the lineup tonight for the Flames, and it looks like it'll be David Reddick getting the start for the Calgary Flames this evening. It is a 7 o'clock puck drop, the first of back-to-back -back games between the Flames and Leafs. We'll see you tonight.